In this video, I wanted to cover the best sneakers you could buy for 50 bucks. I will have a series of videos, so I have a $100 price point video already in the works, a $500 and $1,000 price point video for you guys coming really soon. So a shout out to all the people that I reached out to that came back to me with some content because I really wanted to reach out to some of the people in the community and ask for some of their answers and uh, shout out to those people that actually took the time to help me support the vision that I had for this video. So this is a really tough price point to be starting this series out on because $50 is not very much money. When you talk about $100 or $500, there's a lot more options out there. A lot of the answers follow the same theme though of buying them on sale. So, so my $50 choice, honestly for me and my style, I I like the Adidas SL20s. They're really comfortable with the light strike technology and they retail at $100. 52 bucks was the price that they had them on sale last, which means I'm sure we're gonna see another sale when they drop down in price again. But it's a great choice in my opinion if you want a comfortable shoe, a lightweight shoe, something a little bit stylish. At that price point, I think it's a great buy. But now I wanna pass the camera over to some of the other content creators that I reached out to for this video. Their information will be on the screen as well as in the description of the video if you wanna go follow them on their respective channels or social media outlet. If you guys enjoy this style of video though and you wanna see the next part of a best sneakers that you can buy for $100, which that video will be coming soon, drop a like on this video so I know that you guys are interested in seeing that. If we hit 1,500 likes, I'll go ahead and uh, post the other video soon to follow. All right, so at the $50 price point, my sneaker of choice would have to be the Vans old schools in the classic black color. I know retail price is about $60, but if you could find them on sale, you could pretty much get them for around $45, maybe $50. But yeah, classic sneaker right there. A lot of culture behind them, a lot of history. Can't go wrong with those. So if we're talking $50, what sneaker am I gonna go with? Plain and simple, man, a Presto. I ended up getting these for around $49 at the Nike outlet. Phenomenal, patience saves pockets. I love these, been wearing them for years, beating them to death. I wish Nike would bring out some more. But yeah, man, like, the outlet got steals, let me tell you. And you can really get away with some comfy shoes that are just last you a long time. Not every sneaker needs to be super expensive. These look really great when they're nice and white. Uh, even now, being super beat up, kind of look dirty. But in person, during the day, you never know. All I gotta do is throw these in the washer, and boom, good to go. $50. All right, yo, what up, Hez Kicks? Yo, David and Andrew here from the Fung Bros at the $50 range, the Jumpman 2020. And this is for hooping. This is for hooping, but I just think it's a really well-built shoe that uh, obviously was introduced sort of as an entry model, but you know, occasionally the entry models, they, they just hit a home run for the price point. It's on sale now for 50. Okay, so for $50, um, obviously you can get a number, a number of hoop shoes for $50 that are on sale, but I would say obviously the Vans old schools, uh, with the laces, I think is, uh, I think they retail for 60, but you know, I'll put them in the 50 range. Okay. If we're going to talk about sneakers under $50, no cheating, not talking about sales or anything like that, then I feel like there's three sneakers really you have to talk about. One is the Vans slip on. Um, you can usually find those for right at $50. Uh, also, the Chuck Taylor, the low and the high, you can usually find those for like $49. And then also, I would say the, the authentic. You can probably get those for $50. Now, those will be the plain, absolute basic colorways. But as far as, I would say, like cool sneakers go, at the $50 price point, you really can't beat those. Yo, what's good, everyone? It's Marvin, also known as MJO23Dan. Here are my personal choices. So, you really can't go wrong with Chuck Taylor's. You know, I usually do the lows or the mids or the highs. And, you know, I beat these around all the time during the summertime. I go with the lows. You can see I even even uh, cleaned them up or anything because they're just like everyday use. Uh, these were released uh, some time ago. These are the uh, Converse Chuck 2s with the label on the inside. Chucks, like you can usually go for under 50 bucks on a good day. Usually it's like... Uh, twenty nine dollars thirty bucks if you guys are not feeling chucks you guys can go head out to like your local Nike outlet and just check out like some of the old school runners some of the old basketball shoes so those are pretty much a lot of good offerings for under 50 bucks hey what's up guys this is Nick from sneakerhistory.com and if I was gonna spend fifty dollars on sneakers right now I'd have to go with the Converse Chuck Taylor all-star you could get any sort of color you want and you'd still have a little bit of money to throw some new laces in change it up switch it up and give you a couple of different looks if you already have a pair of Chucks in your collection, which most people probably do, I would highly suggest the Puma R698. This is an old school runner from the early 90s, basically compared to like an Air Max 1 and Air Max 90. 
super cushioned, super comfy. I picked these up for $22.99 shipped off of eBay. You can usually find them for $30 or $40, which leaves you a little bit of money to, to again, customize the shoe, swap in some rope laces or something like that. Hey everyone, my name is Carlo. I am a sneaker YouTuber based in the Philippines. And before anything, I just want to say thank you to Hess, not just for inviting me to be part of this video, but I just want to thank him and appreciate him because he's the reason why I actually started my YouTube channel. So when I was researching and watching about shoes, I stumbled on this channel and that's what inspired me to put up my own. And it's been a crazy, crazy journey so far. Hess, Thank you very much. I appreciate you, bro. And with that said, this is my pick for, well, my favorite sneakers for less than actually $50. So this is a shoe that's here in the Philippines. So it's called the World Balance Secret Fresh, uh, well, sneaker. So it's a collaboration between one of the most famous Filipino sneaker heads, uh, well, in the world. Uh, his name is DJ Big Boy Cheng. His art gallery is Secret Fresh. And World Balance is a local sneaker brand here in the Philippines. So I just want and uh, well, appreciate DJ Big Boy Cheng as well because he has pioneered the streetwear and sneaker scene here in the Philippines. He's been so supportive of Filipino and local artists and he's, he's a guy with such a big, big heart. And, and I think there's, there's no other shoe within this price range in the Philippines that I could name as the very best except for his collaboration with World Balance. So that's my pick, uh, the World Balance Secret Fresh sneaker hey guys what's going on it's yo Andy, and today i'm here to talk about my favorite sneaker that you can get for fifty dollars it is the vans authentic to me there's no better shoe that you can get for fifty dollars vans authentics are just timeless they're classic they're super wearable and they're comfortable another thing i love the most about them though is they come in so many different colors and patterns this is the checkerboard the golden coast these ones, they're just, you know, iconic. That checkerboard pattern, you know, is just so cool, great for the summer, but they also come in so many other different colors and patterns as well. You know, this is just uh, another random pair I have. It is the American flag pattern. Obviously, wore these on 4th of July. You know, they got all your colors from red, blue, black, okra. This is yellow, okra, it's called. One of my most worn pairs, I think the technical color is off-white for these. Uh, they're not the true white version, but they go with everything. I can wear them with everything. You can wear them with no socks, no-show socks, high socks, shorts, jeans. They're just incredibly wearable. The dirtier they are, the better they look. And for $50, you can't really go wrong. I own uh, too many pairs. I, I definitely have over 25 pairs of Vans Authentics. Just like any time you have maybe a certain outfit or shirt and you're like, hmm, I wonder if I can get a pair of Vans Authentics so it'll match with that. They're only 50 bucks. But keep that in mind. For $50, it's also dangerous because it makes them very easy to buy. And of course, you can't forget that rubber gum waffle outsole. You know, all the little things about Vans, you know, off the wall logo. Who doesn't love that? The little Vans tag there. If you've never tried a pair of Vans Authentics for 50 bucks, can't go wrong. Hope everyone's doing well out there, staying safe. Want to give a big thanks to Heskex for including me in this video. See you guys, peace. Sneakers for 50 bucks. There's a lot more options out there than you probably think there are. Plenty, actually, if you do your hunting. Shoes that retail for 50 bucks, not many. Chuck Taylors, really can't think of anything else off the top of my head. I got Chucks, but I'm not gonna show them to you here. Plenty of options though go on sale for $50 or right around there. My newest one, I'm actually gonna share here for the first time, haven't even shown it on my own channel. So how do you like that, Hess? 50% off, retail was 100, got them for 50 bucks, shipped. And this is one of my favorite shoes that no one else likes. I literally never see anyone else feature this shoe. This is the Nike P6000 and a lot of, this colorway is not anything special. It's just black, white, and gray, but it's clean. And it's also one of the most comfortable shoes that you can buy. I think it's lunar lawn cushioning in here, but just the stance and the wideness of this shoe just works really well for my foot. Got these off finish line, caught them on sale, and I have three pairs of this shoe. Crazy comfortable, super underrated, in my opinion, obviously affordable, even if you pay full retail at 100 bucks. So two boxes checked off with this one shoe, $50, you can get them on sale, or $100. I'd honestly be willing to say it's the most comfortable shoe, $100 and under. I can't think of any off the top of my head. If someone knows, let me know. But 
Great shoe, Nike P6000, 50 bucks. What else have I gotten for 50? I've also gotten plenty of Vans on sale. I think that these retailed for like 80 or something. Got them on sale, but Vans all day. I'm sure other people are gonna be suggesting Vans, skate highs, eras, old schools. So this one is easy. I think for me, the $50 Teleria is probably the best option. I think a comfort sneaker is probably something I would really go with. Something like this. I know the retail is a little bit higher, but you can find a sneaker like this in the off market at a consignment shop, sometimes even like a little Buffalo Exchange or something, and be able to get these. Actually, I got a second pair of these at a Buffalo Exchange for $27 after I think about it. So I think a shoe like this, when you're spending not that much money, you wanna go for comfort and still style. I know these are a little large and in charge when it comes to the colors, but you can definitely find more basic ones like a black one. So I definitely rock with this shoe for 50 bucks or around that price range. All right, Hess. So the question is, if the budget was $50, what shoe would I pick? Well, there's not much you can get with $50. It's very slim pickings. I think the first thing I would do is go immediately to the sales section. So if I'm looking at the sales section, I'm going to go for a pair of Vans Era, some low cut Vans. I think if you look right now, there's probably a pair for like $39.99. So I have $10 left over. With that $10, I'm buying a pair of insoles because Vans are super flat. So there you go. That is my pick for a $50 budget, Vans Era with an insult. What's going on guys? Ivan here, Kicks Reason is the channel. And for under $50, this is the shoe I'm gonna choose right here, the Reebok Adstrek 96. These can be had for under $50 in pretty much any colorway that it's out there. Great comfort, super fit, super classic 90s uh, sneaker from Reebok. Very soft midsole, perfect fit. I absolutely love these. And this is my choice for under $50. What's up YouTube fam? It's the homie, I am TMCII, and my boy Hess Kicks, he hit me up, asked, at current market value, what kicks can you get out there for 50 bucks? Somewhere in that ballpark. So I was digging and digging and looking all through my collection, trying to see what shoes that I have that's somewhere in that price range, and the only thing I could find were a pair of Vans. I think Vans are like a classic shoe you could just toss these on if you're just going to run errands i think they're kind of like jordan ones in a way meaning you know once they look worn and beat they they look better with age and with some miles on them so these are two models this is the uh the authentic and the uh the, the era right here so you can find both of these still somewhere in that ballpark of 50 bucks uh it's not many dope shoes that i could find um in that price range of fifty dollars you know nowadays shoes are going for an arm and a leg but if you're just looking for something cheap something that's still kind of flashy and um you know you still have a little little style to it you can still dress these up dress these down uh i think the vans are probably the best way to go these and converse also so like i said 50 bucks somewhere in that price range i think the these are a shoe that i would recommend for you guys to definitely check out my choice for best sneaker at 50 dollars is the adidas gazelle you can always find a pair on sale and it's something you can wear every day with anything first shoe i'm going to show you real quick is a reebok here it's the reebok classic leather here from highs and lows which is a um, australian boutique it's a collab here so we have really good materials uh, i believe this blue uh, and this uh, this cream and maroon just work really well together for a very wearable sneaker uh, I chose Reebok because I believe at this price point they really give you the best bang for your buck. Materials used and execution just great on this sneaker here. Next one is also Reebok I'm going to show and this is the Club C. This is just a general release uh, Club C here and this cream and like burnt orange colorway. I got this from a good friend of mine, John, uh, who's also a friend of James's. Uh, he's part of the Collective Koreans uh, clique that we have. Uh, but yeah, he gave me these as a birthday present from last year, I believe. So very thankful he uh, sent these my way. I wear them a lot. Again, super high quality leathers for a GR. I uh, love the color blocking on the shoe. Just great execution. And yeah, I wear them a lot. For 50 bucks, can't go wrong with a pair of Reebok Club C's. They're a classic shoe, always in style. This is just a white and navy GR colorway that I picked up for around 50 bucks. And seriously, Spring, summer, winter, fall, uh, whatever the season may be, whatever outfit it may be, um, they're always going to look good. 
So get yourself a pair of these Reebok Club C's. All right, so that wraps up the video. Thank you guys again for stopping by and watching and shout out to all the other creators that contributed. Much appreciated to them for coming up with the content to uh, make this video possible for you guys. But now I'm gonna turn it over to you guys in the comment section. What is your favorite sneakers for that $50 price point? It could be a sneaker you got from the thrift, something that you got deep discounted on, something you got at retail, whatever it is. Drop a comment in the comment section. What is your favorite $50 sneaker? Again, if you guys wanna see that $100 price point video of the best sneakers for $100, drop a like on this video and I'll be posting that video for you guys soon then I also have a $500 and a $1,000 price point video and I'm excited to do all these ones anyways hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day and uh, we will hopefully see you guys back for some more sneaker videos very soon peace guys